Hey, what's going on? There we go. I had somebody try to FaceTime me while I was on here. So it it made a made with my screen mess up. Um what I'm doing today, I'm gonna I'm working on this large landscape. I mean, it's large. It's like, I don't know. For me, it's large. 36 by, no, it's larger than that. 36 by, no, oh, man, I don't know. It's big. <laughs> it's big. And um, it's a scene I know really well, but I want to abstract it a bit. So... What I already went ahead and did is I marked out the colors that I want. See, it's this landscape. There's this view of our community from a hill. And I really love that, that look with Matisse where it's like bluish gray back here. So I'm going to try and get some of that on the canvas. But I was going to do uh, the foreground more like this. Because that's, you see that everywhere around here. And so I've got things marked out a little bit. If you're watching the replay of this, I am doing this live. So if you, if you happen to hear me comment about somebody asking a question or whatnot, that's what's going on. I'm just going to start laying these down. This may not be too exciting here at first. I probably should have done this before I went live. But I did get a review copy of a book I've been working on today, which was kind of exciting. There's some changes I want to make in it for sure which I've already done actually a lot and already uploaded it, but I'm probably going to make further changes before I really push it out there. There's a lot of these fields like this because of um, it's farmland and then the ditches are it's just regular little grass, and then you've got your field in there with whatever crop, and then the tree line behind it. There's a lot of that around here. I haven't been using oil pastels much, so this will be kind of fun. I miss using them. I thought it would be a good excuse to do a, a color study for this painting. I got some of these cards in the mail. I'm doing a review on them. They're um, like color theory cards. I'm trying out... choosing the colors, the color palette for the painting ahead of time with it, which is very different for me because I usually do it as I go along because you know how paint is. It's like so many color variations. It's hard to choose just one flat color. I 
because you blend, do so much blending and the colors. Kind of mottled, muddled, mottled. I've done ebooks before. <clears throat> Pardon me. But on ebooks, you can enlarge photos on your screen. And with this, this one that I did, I had to realize that what they got was what they got. So it's forced me to make some changes on things. So I'm learning. That's good. I'm going to try, try to keep this just really loose. Not too, not, not too tight. Just kind of want to get my idea of if what I, what I want to do on the canvas is going to work. Or if it's just going to be a dud. It's dark and gloomy here today in Kansas. There's not much. I even had to turn the front porch light on. Or when hubby comes home from work. Aside from the time change, just it's, the front porch is kind of dark. This looks very 70s. Color, colors palette to me. You know what I mean? You hear what I'm saying? It's got a lot of like avocado green in there. That's what that reminds me of. We had an avocado green fridge. I think a stove too. I could be mistaken. Oh, that's interesting. It makes these smudgy lines very much like Plants going up and down. I got a little bit of this in there. Or I should try a blue. Let me give me a blue here. I don't think. Oops. I'm not for sure if next week there's going to be a live. I'm going to plan as if, but um, I've been working on that book project and I need to finish up some stuff for the end of end of November in order to meet my goals I've got my colors picked out over here. Whoops. 
and it uh, set to the side. Probably shouldn't have done that, huh? Move the camera, that is. There we go. Let's just leave it right there. Sorry about that. I forgot what we were talking about now. Oh, I've got goals to meet by the end of November on uh, projects and so I'm just I'm thinking with between the holiday because I'm in the US and there's we've got Thanksgiving Thursday we've got Christmas coming up here real soon I've got a birthday week in there also. And I thought about taking the week off on birthday. Because it's a milestone birthday. Even if I just sit and read that day or Just whatever. But it's coming up here real quick. So, anyway, I'm planning ahead. And planning ahead means my time's going to be limited. I'm going to do the, the paint, original painting, the, the actual painting of this um, on canvas in oil. So I'm hoping I can get some of this blended look in there. I think that needs some blue. Dark, dark blue. I'm looking at my screen as per usual. Get a get different viewpoint. It's kind of nice how that works. So I can also use a mirror, of course, but the camera gives me a fresh viewpoint. I don't think I want these lines quite so um, sharp. I want them blurred a little. I love oil pastels, just the way they, just the texture, once you get some down. And start playing with the playing with the color blending. It's just kind of cool. Tis it is. I'm not sure about this bottom edge down here. It's like the edge of the road is what it is. 
and I don't know if you're familiar with chat, but it, uh, it's like the stuff they put on roads to seal it. And it's sort of like a fine gravel put that way. What they use on the roads. Anyway, that's what that is down there. I don't know that it's going to be necessary. If you know what I mean. Okay, let's see. Doot, doot, doot. Yeah, let's try one more of this in there. This white is a Paul Rubens and it's kind of, I don't know, sticky compared to the Mungio which is what I'm using. I've only got that set out. The white of the Paul Rubens, that is. Got my rag here to wipe stuff off of them. Let me get me a clean one now. There we go. I don't know that this green line needs to be that wide. This dark, dark green. It's got a nice smooth texture to it though. Not that the others didn't, but it's just... Maybe I do want that a little wider, but I'll bring the brown, this dark, dark back down into it some. And that way, it'll help break it, break it up a little bit. It's, it's the brown that I'm using up here is close to the same value, so make it a thin line. See what I mean about just the smudginess of it? I love that. See that brown's pretty close to the same. I think I need to put some lighter greens in there though and help break that up. I've got my reference photos over there. That's what you heard me shuffling. Got my scraper tool here. Out there, get out there, and so I, what I'm gonna want, want to do is to put in the. It's not really the skyline, but what would, I don't know what else to call it. 
of this in here. I need to put it in Hmm. I'm thinking. I need to put this in there. This is way too much pigment. I'm going to lighten that up. Gray it down. But what I want to do is have it down so that I can scrape away some of the edges. And then this will show underneath it. I was looking to see if how I had the colors on the canvas. I've been wanting to do this large time. It's not wanting to peel off very well. There we go. how quickly these get away from being the pure color. Again, this is that Paul Rubens that's really soft. So I'll probably have to blend that back together with the With that periwinkle-ish color there. And just use it as a blender. It still has too much pigment in it. Still want it lighter. Maybe I should have put white down first. Need a lavender, more of a lavender than a gray. Let me see here. You know how when you look at things off in the distance, especially if it's smoky or it's a little bit of haze, it has kind of a blue tinge to it. So I want to go for a lavender. See the areas where it's not staying pure color that's I'm just gonna go with that because there's there's foliage back there that 
it's kind of spotty anyway. Now we're getting into it. I wish I had a, a, a medium white, something that wasn't so soft. And I think all of mine are that way. I do, I do. I know there's people watching because I can see on the streamer tells me. But you're all staying quiet, so if anybody has anything they'd like to share or comment, feel free to do so. I'm really glad I started using gloves with this because I just get it I get it everywhere. It's a little out of I really like this line right through here. It's like a where the gray and the blue kind of meet. I was gonna put the I don't know if I want to now. Uh, let's go ahead. Over here is the water tower. Because we live in the big city. I'm just kind of making slight. Slight notes there. It's starting to get there. It is, it is. Let's see. Got me some brown in there. I'm just trying to kind of blend that a little bit. So let's. I've got that lighter color underneath there. So if I scrape it with my scrapey tool, 
it will bring it out. I'm just trying to give a hint that there's something going on on the horizon there. While also giving it some texture in the sky area so it's not so vanilla-ish, if you know what I mean. This stack right here, this line right there, that is no longer in our um, skyline. So I wanted to add it for posterity because it was there for. I don't know, 70 years or something like that. Like that. Okay, let's try and scrape some of this and see what happens. It brings it out somewhat. Gives it a little interest there. I live in a really small community and it's becoming more and more artsy and more of a cultural spot, which is really neat to see as it develops. Because it is a very small community. I'm looking at this on I think I need, need some light green some of this just to give it some form without being too overpowering I'm 
probably not going to work on this for a long time because I, I need it more of a study situation for the painting. Chair squeaking. <clears throat> Add some of that blue in there. Oh, that helps a lot. really it looks it looks it looks better this bluish it looks more powerful in real life than on the on the screen I like it I like that I also need some red because you know how red and green for the sit down here. I kind of like the red though. going for super realism here. <clears throat> Pardon me. hard to get details these these pastels so what I do is I lay it down larger and then scrape it back like that right there is not that and I can but I can just scrape it back and get that detail right there Got the light going wrong too. It needs to be on this side. I do think this will look neat, uh, really large, you know, really big and abstracted.
I'm going to try some scraping in the color field areas too. See what happens. It's an easy way to get some texture. Camera's picking that up, but I can't. I can't zoom in on Streamyard. Once it's set, it's set. That's interesting. I really like scraping this out to get details. It just, I don't know, it the mark that it leaves makes things a little more interesting. Gives it some variety from that thick oil pastel. That's interesting. I like that. Let's see. Let's see. What did I do with it? Oh, there it is. I scraped off some of that lavender. It was too dark. It was too much of that. I don't know that that's working real well in the transition between. This transition between these two colors, these two parts of the land. Let's see what this does. None of these now are like solid, solid colors. They're 
variations in there. They have different values and tone in there in each area, but yet each area is also distinct. I like that. I could keep working on this, but I think I might mess it up, tell you the truth. So I like how I like how loose it is. I did put gesso on this paper before I laid it down, before I put the gesso or I put the oil pastel so that the paper would have a little more structure to it. I'm just putting the pastels back in their containers, their spots, or a spot. I need to go through my oil pastels and organize them by, by color like a lot of people do because I've just got mine haphazardly put in there I'm taking my gloves off so I can take this tape off and this was a new roll of tape so I hope it doesn't pull the paper off too terribly much Because it's pretty strong. It's got strong adhesive on it. So far, we're doing 99% okay. Consider that a win. I kind of like I kind of like what we've done here. I think that tells me a lot for the the painting that I want to do. That works. Let's see. Demo, study for oil painting, 1120, 23. I'm gonna put oil pastel on there just, just, just in case I question it. That's not too bad. Yeah, that tells me. That tells me a lot. Like the, the blues and the reds in here. I think those make a those enhance it. And now I know I need to add the I'm looking for my For this, so I can put my whites in here. It leaves this sort of um,
I need to not pick at it because I'm going to mess it up. Quit messing with it. Okay, I guess that's it for today, folks. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. If you're on the replay, uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I would love a comment of what you're working on right now. I have gesso on my hands. I'm gessoing the edges of a painting and plus I gessoed on here without putting gloves on. So I'll let you all go. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it more than I can say. You all rock. Thank you for being here. And I will see you next time. And if you're in the U.S., have a great Thanksgiving. All right. Bye-bye.